Progress TV Studio. Hi, welcome to another session. Today we're going to be dealing with the issue of respecting and having admiration towards your mother. Now your mother is your queen and this issue is fundamental. Your mother is someone who has cared for you for a very long time, someone who has been there for you, someone who has nurtured you to be the person that you are right now. And your mom has many rights over, over you. Now we won't be able to deal with the issue but we will, we will scratch the surface of this big issue and the, this big topic. The first thing I wanted to mention, the first point is, whenever your mom calls you, whenever your mom, mother calls you, you should respond to her. Now many of you young people, many of you young people sitting here, you will find that a lot of you, you will find you have friends or family members who they disrespect and they don't obey their mother. And that is wrong. You should be as serious to your mother and respect her. So whenever your mom calls you, Mohammed, Mike, Amy, come here, do this. You should respect your mother and you should know that your mother, all the blessings is with your mother. Your mother should, you should look at your mother as your queen. When we, when the queen of the UK, the queen of Australia, when they come and when she comes, we make the way easy for her and we give her a lot of respect and admiration. And you should, you should have the same respect and admiration for your mother. Another thing is you should know that your mom has been there for you when you were small. She had a lot of sleepless nights. She had a lot of sleepless nights. When you were sick, she was waiting for you in the hospital for so many hours, sometimes until the early mornings. And when you were crying, she used to be there for you. So you should always, always help your mother. Some of you, to this very day, 21, 22, your mother, she does your bed sheets, your duvets, so forth and so on. She has care, cared for you for so many years. And now is the time for you to recognize the tremendous work that your mom has done. And you should be on her side. The third thing we want to mention today is your mom should have your help and your assistance wherever possible. We, saw, we see a lot of young people like yourselves, a lot of young people, when their mom, when she, ha when she needs help with the council, when she needs help with letters, and English is not her first language. English is not her first language. You need to be there for her, and you need to, you shouldn't preoccupy yourself with other things which are lesser in degree and very insignificant. Your mom should, should be the first point, the first thing that you should focus on when it comes to your time, making sure if she has appointments, if she, ha if she needs a transla translator for, for her to come with her so she can translate, you should be there for your mom. Another thing I wanted to mention, another point is your mom should be someone who you take care of. You should buy her gifts, present, presents, you should take care of her friends. Your mom's best friends should be someone who you take care of, someone that you respect. The things that your mom has done when you were young, all the things that she has done when you were young, when you were a kid, when you were growing up, those those experiences you can instill them install them into your children and nurture them into the right way every mom every mother wants her child to be the best she wants her child to be the best in school the best in university the best in life and so and and as a result of that you should recognize that your mom has been there for you and supported you when you were sitting your examinations your GCSEs, your A-levels, when you were in university, doing your degree, your master's degree. She was your advisor. So it is not acceptable and it's not permissible, not, it is not permissible for you to disrespect and not be as serious to your mom. Your mom calls you, you say, I can't do this. Can't do this. I'm too busy. That is not acceptable. And the reason why this is not acceptable is what we, what we mentioned before. She's been there for you for so many years. She has nurtured you. She has showed you the manners, the etiquettes, 
and how to live li how to live life the right way. Your mama has told you not to commit crime. She has told you to stay away from those people, from those friends that are a hazard to you. Those friends and those acquaintances that you have that would cause you to do things which are unacceptable. So take care of your mom. Make sure that she is your number one priority and always call her queen by her presence. That is the reminder that I want to put forth for you today. And remember that next time when we deal with another issue, this issue that we're dealing with today should be the, of, 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 of paramount importance to everyone. Until next time, see you later. Progress TV Studio.